Look how caked and beautiful this. I already know this is about to be wrong. We both on some shit because I'm like, are you did you really call her? Right. In my house, like right. on my birthday, y'all. So I'm like devastated, you know? Like it's supposed to be a good day for me. Not a bad day. Sorry. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. <laughs> what up y'all hey guys it's Steph and Tasha and we back with another video before we get into the video I want to ask you guys to please thumbs the video up if you like it if you hate it thumbs the video down share comment subscribe if you're new here thank you for subscribing welcome to the family if you've been here before welcome back baby tell them what we're doing today we just woke up like two hours ago y'all <laughs> today we are doing homemade hot wings we got three different flavors we're gonna let y'all know what we got when we get into mm -hmm. the video we hungry so, as heck you ready the video. yes let's get into the video all right guys we are back so today tasha, we didn't really go nowhere though but just saying tasha has made we went to do a thumbnail and some other things i had to close the damn window y'all okay so we back okay 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 so tell them what you made my baby made okay. some homemade wings today y'all so i made some homemade wings i made some like um Asian style wings, hot wings, and some other couple of barbecue wings barbecue. or somewhere. Yeah, there's That's some it. barbecue here. I made deviled eggs. We got some carrots and cucumber, you guys. Sorry I didn't make a recipe, um, you guys. Oh, oh, actually, I think we done this. We did do a recipe video. Oh, okay. We have okay. a recipe video on some okay. wings. All right, I've been dying for this Ooh. hot, so I'm just gonna go right into the hot wings, y'all. Look at that. The sauce on this, I already tasted this so good. Mm. This is like the best ranch dressing. Mm. I'm hungry, y'all. We haven't eaten all day. We stayed up till five in the morning after our live. Mm -mm -mm. Our live was litty as a titty. Okay. Mm. Take that out, babe. Nope. Mm. Nope. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. It's perfect. Alright, so mm. everybody I've been waiting on the continuance of our story today is gonna be it. I think this is part five. Mm -hmm. So if you have not been keeping up with the um how we fell in love series that we're doing. I put all the videos into a playlist, you guys, and it's called uh, Get to Know Us. So you'll be able to see how we met and then everything down to when we got married. Okay. Is the um, proposal in there? Mm, I think it's somewhere in the playlist. I'll put it closer to the beginning. Mm. Baby made some, Ooh. Um, whatever you call mm. these. Mm. No barbecue wings, y'all. Mm. Mm. You good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Might have to do these for the meat grit. Because they be coming out so bomb. Mm. Mm -mm. For our wedding, y'all, we were going to cook. But we were just like, maybe it's too much. Oh, God, I'm so glad we didn't try to do that. But I wish we would have. Huh. But it was too stressful. Yeah. I was already stressed out. Mm. Alright, we about to get into the story time. Mm. So y'all. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm. Where do we leave off? <clears throat> so we left off where Tash Tasha I moved in with me and on a temporary basis. Oh. Mm -hmm. And um I said we didn't tell anything that happened after that. Mm -mm. So Tasha moved in. <sighs> Look how caked and beautiful this. I already know this is about to be wrong. Tasha moved in. I I didn't expect anything specific from you moving in. We didn't set any any type of you know mm -hmm. standard for how this was supposed to be. It was just like okay, you stay in here for a couple months and that's it. Right. 
Let's see what happens, basically. My thing was, I felt like me moving in was going to... First of all, I wanted to get a new place, and I wanted to um, save money. But I thought that it was going to help me um, get rid of like certain people, because I knew that I wasn't going to disrespect her house, you mm. know? Okay. So it was also going to help me get rid of them people. So, this was in early March of 2013. Now y'all know. My birthday is in March as well. March 19th, you guys. So my birthday happened a few weeks after Tasha moved in. I was uh, working pretty heavily at this time. So when I got off work that day, I remember... I came home, I was super excited because you told me like you were gonna take me out or whatever. I get home, she's not there. So, and I was like, I'm a, I don't know why, you know I'm silly. So I was like, I'm gonna hide in the closet. Don't have so before you tell this, let me tell okay. where I was. So I had went, me and Elijah went to go find Stephanie a gift. We were talking about it, me and Elijah were just like, oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that for Stephanie. We're gonna go have dinner. Mm -hmm. No, we're all excited. Um, so we were out looking for her. Um, a gift and some balloons and stuff like that. Okay. So then we come home. Stephanie's not home. Her right. car is gone. I literally put my car somewhere on the street so she wouldn't think I was home. Cause I was I was gonna hide like like jump out. You know the super I did. Yeah. Okay. So that was my plan. So when she got home, I got inside of my closet <laughs> and I waited for her to come inside, y'all. <clears throat> so she comes inside. <laughs> To my surprise, decides to call up the pathological liar person. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute, I came in the house, Stephanie wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I'm looking around and I'm heated. I'm like, my autumn, I don't know why, but my instant, because like I said, and like she said, we were not committed to each other. So my instant thing was, oh, she must have went out with somebody. You know? Oh, okay. Somebody took her out for her birthday. And I told her I was gonna take her. So I was mad. Okay. So I'm sitting in the closet, y'all. Tasha walks into the bedroom where I am. I don't mean it was to me. <laughs> and decides to call the pathological liar girl. I'm sitting there just giddy. Oh, she probably give me some birthday. We have to go on a birthday trip. I'm going to run out and surprise her. That I'm actually home, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Calls the girl. Do you remember what she said? No, but I remember it being something like I didn't want to take her out anyway. Yeah, like you made her feel like you had to do this, but you didn't really want to. Okay. So I'm sitting there like crushed. Like, wow, are you serious? So this was, you didn't even want to, but you was just doing it just because, but you really want to be with her? Did I say that? No, of course I'm thinking that. Okay. I was crushed, y'all. I let her finish our conversation because I wanted to hear everything she was going to say. Wasn't much, honestly, but that was that. I I come out the closet and I'm, <laughs> wasn't no surprise. <laughs> the joke was on me. Uh -huh. I was just like, wow, really? So that's how you feel? I mean, really? Okay. So she's mad. I don't know if you thought I was doing that on purpose to like catch you, mm -hmm. but I really wasn't. Yeah, I was mad because I thought that you were hiding in the closet intentionally, and I was like, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, we both on some shit, because I'm like, are you, you really call her? Right. In my house, like, right. on my birthday, y'all. All this is happening on my birthday, so I'm like, devastated, you know? Like, this is supposed to be a good day for me. Not a bad day. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. So, I think we still ended up going out. Yeah, but the energy was off. It was horrible. It was bad. Very bad. So bad. We shouldn't have went. Mm -mm. <laughs> Absolutely not. Tasha was super stubborn when we first started dating. I think it was hard for you to, like, try to understand my feelings about stuff mm -hmm. like you when she was mad it was just like i didn't care about anything yeah exactly i don't think you believe that i really was not mm -mm. trying to spy on you mm -mm. i mean this is my house in my bedroom why do i need to spy on you in my bedroom you, you shouldn't be closet. doing
He was in the closet though. Yeah, but I'm saying you shouldn't be doing nothing. So nobody's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna sit here and see what she do. I didn't even think you would do that. Well, I didn't even think you know that you could fit into the closet and hide in the corner. But my of it. point is, think about it from my perspective. I did. I, did. I wasn't trying to catch you do something in my own bedroom. Why are you telling me? I already know. You know what I'm saying? Like what? So after that happened, I really was like, I really was like, okay, let me stop playing around and thinking that possibly something could be me and her. She playing. She gonna leave in a couple months, and oh. that's it. When she first came there, if y'all been following the story, I wasn't talking to anybody. After that, I was like, mm-mm. Started talking to people, y'all. I was working a lot. And like pretty much every day that I come home, she wasn't home. So I was I was like, okay, so she doing her thing. Mm, nothing. I would go drop your large off at school. So I was working, but I wasn't working seven days a week. I was working like four days because I was a nurse, you guys. So I was working like three or four days and then the other, you know, but I wasn't working like the whole eight hours. I was just out. I'd work and then I'd go hang out. I used to hang out with Pathological Liar. This is before I knew all, this before she lied about cancer. During this time, I think we were like intimate sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, we di didn't have any type of commitment. Everybody was basically doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. We were sleeping in the same bed. Yes, we definitely were sleeping in the same bed, y'all. So, you guys, so one day, I went out uh, by myself, and I know you guys know about the girls that work, the girl that worked at Toys R Us. She happened to be at the club that um, I went to, the bar that I went to. So I started kind of hanging out with her or whatever for the night, drinking, doing all this kind of stuff. Then at the end of the night, I'm a little too tipsy to drive. So I called Stephanie and asked her, which, I mean, the nerve, right? Hanging out with this girl, and then I called Stephanie, but anyway. So I called Stephanie to come pick me up because I couldn't drive. She didn't answer the phone. I called my sister. She didn't answer the phone. So I called Pathological Liar. E.T. Excuse me. And of course, she answered the phone. She took me to a hotel. When I woke up in the morning, um, I had on my underwear. But I didn't have on clothes. Um, and I had a hickey on my neck. Mm-hmm. Because Hasha comes home with a hickey, y'all. I'm like, are you serious? Like before this, I didn't have any confirmation that you were like doing some physical stuff with people. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh no, nah. I'm done. She just <laughs> has zero respect for me, like whatever. So anyway, I didn't do nothing with her. Y'all know her. That she knows. <laughs> I swear, y'all. I promise. So y'all, now remember I was talking to somebody else, but me and her was just like light dating, light doing stuff. We never did anything intimate at all. But I ended up going to this party with my friend and everybody was like talking about um, different things like never have I ever stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, never have I ever had a one night stand. There was a girl there that basically was like, you haven't? And she was so like, after that she was like on the mission to like get me. Mm -hmm. That night I'm like, you know what? I don't give a damn. I'm about to do this stuff. She up here getting hickeys. I don't care. I'm going to let this person do whatever. The girl ended up... Uh, we're going to say she was intimate with me, y'all. Okay? And I allowed it. Because I was just... I just felt so hurt by the stuff. By the hickey. and You know what I'm saying? And like by the fact that we weren't progressing. And, you know, I was just like, I'm about to do something. Yeah. Just like, I made a dumb decision, honestly. So I allowed her to do that. That was it for that night. The next, very next day, I woke up and I felt like, I felt so horrible because that wasn't me. So I was like, you know what? I said, I got to stop. I can't let, allow the situation between me and you change who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm done. I'm done playing this little game. I stopped talking to the other person. I was like, what I'm going to do. I prayed on it. I was like, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to give myself, I'm, I'm going to put into this relationship what I want out of it. And if it does not go in the direction that it should go in, then that's it. But at least I tried. You know, I'm not over here with half ass and shit hoping that something happens. So I stopped talking to other people. I just started being the woman I would want, basically. Mm -hmm. If it don't work, it don't work and we can be done with this. Mm -hmm. You know, because it was so much. It was very stressful having that long of a relationship with somebody that I really felt like 
I can have something good with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're dealing with just anybody, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But to just be, it was so frustrating. Like, man, this could be something really good. But Why it's just it? never mm -hmm. turning into that, you know? Mm -hmm. I was like, let me just give it my, my all and see what happens. So I did that. But I felt a shift in her mood, her attitude. She seemed to be lighter. Um, meaning that she didn't have like an attitude with me. Because she would have an attitude right. sometimes. And she was just she just didn't say anything about what I was doing, where mm -hmm. I was going. She didn't question. She did nothing. She just left it all alone. Mm -hmm. And I'll say within a few days of that happening, because we talked about it. Right. Um, um, it was summertime at this time, June. So I decided to drop Elijah off um, with my brother. He stayed for a month. With that shift that I felt from Stephanie, it... It kind of was a burden off of me. Um, I just felt so much peace mm -hmm. with Stephanie, and all I wanted to do was um, enjoy that with her. I knew that she was gonna drop Elijah off for a month. Now, I didn't have any expectations of this. She, like we said before, had been gone a lot. Like, I was like, oh, she don't even have her son to worry about now for this month, so she's definitely not gonna be around here. So, I'll go to work and come back. And y'all, Tasha was at home every single day. And I'll be like, I'll see your car. You know, it made me feel good. But I was just like, okay. That's very unexpected. Mm -hmm. So she would be there. And during this month, we spent so much time together. Let me tell y'all what I did real quick. I called Pathological Liar and I told her, basically, um, I'm done with this. Um, she thought that I was going to spend oh, that yeah. time with her. I was like, oh, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, she was like, well, you don't have any lights. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to stay where I am. And I was like, I really would prefer for you not to call me anymore. Okay, so during this month, we spent so much time together, you guys. We really learned each other. Like, we actually, we both opened up a lot. Mm -hmm. This like, was really the first time that we really got to know each other. By you being there every single day, I think it helped. It made it so easy for me to open up and be myself mm -hmm. and be comfortable and feel safe with you. So I feel like I just opened up so much we we had so much fun we had so much fun together mm -hmm. we we spent so much time together tasha was there every single day every of day that and every days. night okay <laughs> and i think that is where we really 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 fell in love mm -hmm. you know we yeah. really everything had changed like i would go to work she would go to work i would um call and check in just because i wanted her to know i'm not doing anything this is where i am i think if we really, really needed that, and if we didn't have that month, who to, knows? I don't know where we would be at. This who point. knows? We really needed that. So after this month that we spent together, I, you asked me to be your girlfriend. Oh, you yeah. know, in like June, July ish of uh -huh. 2013, and I was still very skeptical that things were gonna stay the way they were. Mm -hmm. You know, I was very happy about, about the month that we had, but I was like, how do I know it's gonna, you know, not go back to the crazy roller coasterness that we had before? So I was, I was like, nah. But Tasha was like, yeah. I was, well, she was, she was my girlfriend anyway. So she was like, you my girl, whatever. Yeah. So I think I broke down in September. I was like, okay, because I was like, okay, she's had several months with this is really staying the way it is. We're growing, we're getting closer. All right, let's let's try this. So I'm like, okay. For the last time, I will be your girlfriend. Yes. So yeah, that was September of 2013. We had another two years. It wasn't perfect. No. We still were growing a lot. It took a lot of growth in our communication, communication to get us to the point where we are now. I had to learn how to respect um, my relationships because I never respected any of the women that I was with. None of them hoes needed to be respected, <laughs> by the way. But Stephanie was different. I'm not just saying that because they're exes. I was in the wrong relationships, period. I've never been in a good um, a, a relationship that worked for me, you know. So Stephanie, Stephanie got my respect. She gained my respect, but she really had, I really had to um, change mm -hmm. the way I looked at people, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say the growth in, our, in the respect level, our communication like changed dramatically, mm -hmm. you guys. And also <coughs> having a lot of patience. And, and trying to understand the feelings of someone else, that was a hard thing for me too, you know? Like, cause I always thought I was right about everything in my, my life, okay? But I had to respect the way you had to deal with things. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you, you had to do the same for me, I'm sure. You know, yeah, it was hard for me. Totally yes. different. Uh, this is what happened, y'all. I would get mad at Stephanie for having feelings. And it was hard for me to 
finally not get offended when she was just she had to tell me over and over again there's nothing wrong with me telling you how i feel why do you get upset because i'm telling you how i feel you know and it took me a while to be like yeah you're right why am i getting upset at that why do i feel you know mm -hmm. so it's hard it's hard to change i think i was growing before we met so when we got here i was like halfway you know what i'm saying but to take to make a change in such a small amount of time like i'm really proud of you you know what i'm saying and i'm happy that you did i'm happy that you care enough about our relationship to do that i'm glad you uh took that month and was like i'm going i think something had to be in youtube like i'm gonna see what this is what's, what's gonna happen you know like oh, yeah like because you could have been gone and just been like whatever i wanted yeah. what it what it was was you showed me um some things and i was interested in learning more i never believed that any of these women loved me and it wasn't because i felt like i didn't deserve love or anything i'm not saying that but i knew that with the actions that these women were taking there's no way they could have possibly loved me but i feel like she loved me beyond my faults and she didn't blame me she pushed me y'all she didn't she encouraged me and she loved me when she i wouldn't have loved me <laughs> she loved my son and you know she wasn't too bad in the sack, you feel me? So, Bomb, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bomb, so, yeah. Okay, so. See, <laughs> you said I mean, you cocky. Too. I know, I know. Arsh oh, Bomb. I know, I know. Arsh Bomb, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Let y'all know. Why you telling them? <laughs> so, anyway, so we went through a couple years of trying to build this really strong foundation, and we really did a great job. I, I think we did Thank a you. really good we job did. Did. at building a super strong foundation in our relationship. And now it's like, it's kind of bomb, y'all. Yeah. I mean, we barely ever argue. I, mean, I think we argued so much <laughs> before we finished. <laughs> yeah. We done. We done. Yeah. Well, I think we're both confident, confident and secure in our relationship. Uh, we both respect each other. Uh, whew, I don't know. I mean, even when we get into stuff now, it's just like, we share. I just walk away sometimes. You know, we share things uh, with each other. We definitely we share. Yeah. That. Yeah. Like what? You know. You know. So we, we yeah. So um, that's something we're very secure in our relationship, y'all. Yes. So that's that's bomb. That's I bomb. think we are both really um, genuinely happy in this relationship. Uh -huh. um, we and, we and have not, we can talk to each other. I think yeah. Um, we have very similar like big goals in life, and I think that's one thing that probably brought us together and has kept us together. Because mm -hmm. I feel like we meant to do some shit, y'all. Okay, we meant to do something, and we gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So two years later, Tasha proposed to me, and a year after that, we got married. And this has been uphill ever since, y'all. Yeah, and um, the day after I proposed, I felt different. You we did. felt different. I felt so different. I felt like a, a different sense of like security with you. I felt safe to open up even more, and it just continued to grow because I was like, she is really committing to to us. I didn't think that I was going to feel any different. I didn't either. Okay. I was like, this is weird. I mean, I never really wanted to get married throughout my whole life. After we got married, oh. things just, it was just incredible. I was like, wow, I love this woman so much. And, you know, my love grew for her over time. I think it still grows. It does. Now, and it's weird, but it, it really does. Like, I mean, the I think time over the, with the last month, I feel like I've gotten closer to you. Really? Like, yeah. I love the support that you have always given me i love how um committed you are to <laughs> like our life and making me happy making yourself happy our son like just keeping us together and like um going along with any crazy shit that i come up with and yeah. i said that in my vows y'all because it was real tasha <laughs> as y'all can see she will go along with any crazy idea I have. We done been, been through some shit. Snorkeling with sharks and all kinds of stuff. You guys know <laughs> how I feel about sharks, water, goldfish even. Okay? And airplanes. And I did this for Stephanie and I was horrified. Not only was I horrified, when we got in the water, we couldn't even see see like i i think you can see your hand in front of your face but you couldn't see that far out so the whole time my heart is racing and i'm like i know there's a shark behind me like following me i'm gonna get eaten and i was just like Fuck. all this because she want to sit up here and swim i, I think was so that mad. is so sweet though like you always like 
if I if I want something, she makes sure I get it. I get it, really? and that is so sweet to me. Like I've never been with somebody who has done so much just for me. You push me to be a better person. Like Tasha is one of the most compassionate per people that I've ever met. Generous, um, very respectful of everyone. Like she puts everybody on the same level. Like someone who's homeless versus the most high min millionaire in this world same level of respect you know what i'm saying and, and love that she shows people i don't, I don't know i just love you a lot i, love I you thank too. you i love you too stephanie is good too y'all she all i'm not about to sit here and give a speech stephanie but good. stephanie <laughs> is a wonderful woman she already knows I'm anyway sure this shit about to be long as hell what no i didn't they didn't catch it let's <laughs> let's leave it let, let, let's leave it where it was this video is about to be a little bit longer than normal y'all which is stressing me out so is our story okay. over this is oh, it. Yeah, that was it. That we, now, so, and now we're here. Yes. Now we're here, you guys. Um, we're done. We're married. Um, our journey does continue, but I have no idea where it's going from here. Oh. We will not be having any more babies, just in case y'all want to throw that out there. We will not yeah, be not. having any more babies, but we may foster some teens a little bit later mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. um, after we have some fun. Yes. Fun. We got some goals. So right now we're just pursuing our goals, y'all. Yeah. Okay. We both have had individual goals that I think some of them we have accomplished. And I think now we're like trying to reach those big goals that we want to do. Uh -huh. So just watch y'all. Okay. See what we have in store. We plan on helping a lot of people. We are going to help as many people as we possibly can in this lifetime. Uh -huh. And I love that I'm with somebody who wants that just as much as I do. Let me tell y'all one thing I want to do and I'm going to leave it. I have always, and this is since I've been a kid. I've always had this uh, a thing for people who were homeless. I used to cry a lot when I would walk past them because I don't believe that everybody deserves to be homeless. I do believe that some people do. When your karma hits you, bitch, your karma hits you and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But for those people who don't deserve to um, be there, I wish I could take everybody off of the streets. Even people who aren't homeless but are not doing well because exactly. of whatever reason, they need help too. Mm -hmm. And I know we can't help everybody. I know we won't, maybe not even be help be able to help that many people but i pray that god does give us the resources to help as many people as we can mm -hmm. um we want to help somebody from the bottom to the top i'm not yes. talking about just okay here's ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars figure it out yes. that's not going to help anybody especially if they don't know how to manage money or they don't you need to get somebody a job exactly. you need to get somebody clothes for an interview you need to get somebody into a place exactly. you need to get them this little stuff get them into school whatever it is they need to do for a little while until they get on their feet that's how you help somebody just mm -hmm. hand it somebody Fifty thousand exactly. dollars is not gonna help them. No. So we definitely we want to help some. We want to really, really, really change people's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, not help them for a couple months. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Of course, we can't do that right now. We don't have the resources to do that. But I pray that God gives us the ability to do that because I feel like that's what we're here for. I do too. Um, all of us are here Everybody. to help in help any way other. that we can. Yes, just even with love, a smile, positive energy, and, and you know, like, we need to stop all this negative stuff, you know, because yeah. people, we already, we all already have enough shit to be stressed out about every single day, mm -hmm. period. So just give some love, y'all. Ready to go? I'm ready for you to give me some love. <laughs> More after the show, y'all. But anyway, we're about to get up out of here, y'all. always got to say something. Always got to say something. You better clip that out. Nope. <laughs> Alright y'all, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate Stephanie's face, give it a thumbs down. <gasps> if you hate Tasha's large forehead, please thumbs it down. Okay? Alright y'all, And so unsubscribe. Push that, that, that notification <laughs> bell. Set it to all so you can... You boy, push it. Um, so you can be reminded of all of our daily uploads, live streams, and premieres. Till next time. Only good vibes. Peace. Peace. Ow! I should eat your hand. Babe.